Let's check in on the weather now. Joining us once again is Rob Sharp from Sky News Weather. Rob, it's certainly been, well, another chilly start in the east, but today there's a touch more rain around the country. Yeah, just a little bit, and it's a sign of things to come over the next few days as well. So to kick things off this morning, another cold and frosty start. Canberra down to minus one. Many other areas of New South Wales and southern Queensland have dropped below freezing again today, with Sydney down to eight degrees and Brisbane on nine. So one of the colder mornings of the year so far, but not as extreme as it has been. There's a bit of extra cloud for Western Australia and Southern Australia today. So here's the forecast cloud cover. We could see things just a little bit more clearly. Uh, and so it's going to be uh, flowing down across those Western and Southern regions and a little bit in the northeast corner as well, where we may see a couple of showers developing along the North Tropical Coast and Tablelands, but it's only about a 40% chance for Cairns to see anything today. 40% uh, chance for showers in Adelaide as well, but it's a high chance for Perth. Those showers developing for this afternoon and this evening, Danica. And Rob, when does the next cold change cross southern Australia? Well, it's going to kick on through from first thing tomorrow for the southwest. So we've got those showers on the west coast with the trough, and then the front will clip the southwest uh, overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. And then it's going to make its journey across the Great Australian Bight. As it makes its way into southeastern Australia, it brings windy weather, a bit of rainfall as well. In fact, there'll be a band of rain on Thursday in Melbourne, and then maybe even a touch of wet weather out to Sydney on Friday. Friday morning or early afternoon with windy weather and a notable drop in temperatures. Let's have a look at those temperature maps now. Here's this afternoon, uh, this afternoon at 2 p.m. Areas in blue, that's below 20 degrees. In the yellows, that's above 20. And you can see as the front makes inroads across the southeast, it drops those temperatures substantially. And the wind chill factor will also make it feel even colder than the mercury suggests, particularly for the southeast on Thursday and on Friday. Uh, but even into the weekend, it's going to remain chilly for much of the country. So colder than usual week for many areas, but there are some early signs that next week may be just a little bit warmer than usual for this time of the year, Danica. Not going to complain about that, that's for sure. Rob Sharp, <laughs> thank you.